Well, Edward, what do you think? What? What's the matter? Oh, James, your paintwork. I know. It's splendid, isn't it? You've got dust stuck all over it. Dust? And leaves. Leaves? And twigs. Twigs? Oh, I should have ignored that little scratch. I can't pick up the mare looking like this. Edward, I don't suppose... <clears throat> Could you take the mare to the ball for me? Please? Oh, I'd be happy to, James. <laughs> oh, thank you. Here's Edward! Oh, Edward was very proud to take the mayor and Sir Topham Hatt to Callan Castle. Even though they'd been expecting James. The next morning, Sir Topham Hatt came to find James. Oh, stop hiding back there, James. I want to see you. <laughs> I don't know about being a really splendid engine, James, but you're certainly a really sticky one. Oh, well, I must say, you do look ridiculous. And if that wasn't bad enough, you let me and the mayor down very badly last night. I'm sorry, sir. But Edward told me all about what happened. I hear you worked very hard all day, James, and completed every job you had been given. If you hadn't have been so worried about a tiny scratch, you could have completed your special job, too. Now, go and get cleaned up. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> James was sent back to the steamworks to be repainted all